Caffeine and Muscle Growth – All You Need to Know Some people think that caffeine stunts muscle growth or that a negative relationship exists between coffee and muscles. The authors of a May 2015 report from Brigham Young University tested laboratory animals and showed that this catabolic or tearing down effect of caffeine soon disappears. You can also use the performance enhancing properties of caffeine to create an anabolic or building up effect. Coffee and Muscles Caffeine and coffee appear to have a similar impact on your workout when the coffee features an equal amount of caffeine as the caffeine supplement, according to the authors of an April 2013 report in PLOS 1, who tested eight cyclists. Thus, no other ingredient of coffee seemed to affect exercise performance. It's best to drink coffee about an hour before your workout and keep the caffeine dose below 9 mg for each kilogram you weigh. Larger doses of caffeine can cause side effects like insomnia. Pregnant people should consult a doctor before drinking coffee as caffeine can have negative effects on an unborn child. A September 2016 paper in the European Journal of Sports Science documents the performance-enhancing effects of coffee. These researchers tested 54 fit men using a weightlifting and cycling challenge. Ingesting coffee with 300 mg of caffeine in it prevented fatigue during repeated cycling sprints. The authors of a similar study in the July 2018 edition of the International Journal of Sports Physiology and Performance tested 13 runners and showed that ingesting coffee with 3 mg per kilogram in it can make you faster. Compared to decaffeinated coffee, Drinking coffee caused a 1.3% decrease in the time needed for the men to complete a 1.6-kilometer race. Coffee can also have a positive impact on delayed-onset muscle soreness, in addition to increasing performance. This finding means that coffee has both immediate and delayed effects. A November 2013 article in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning research illustrates this dual role. Nine healthy men received either caffeine or a placebo right before completing an intense bout of bicep curls. These researchers used a dose of caffeine equal to about two and a half cups of coffee. This treatment both increased their exercise capacity during the test and decreased their muscle soreness after the test. Caffeine and Muscle Mass Some people lift weights to gain muscle mass. According to an August 2015 article from the National Academy of Sports Medicine, the principle of adaption states that repeatedly challenging your body will result in increases in muscle strength and size. Trainers call these increases in muscle size hypertrophy. The authors of a June 2017 report in Applied Physiology, Nutrition, and Metabolism expressed concern that caffeine might interfere in this process. A November 2016 paper in the African Journal of Traditional, Complementary, and Alternative Medicines describes a test of this hypothesis. These researchers had 24 healthy, younger adults ingest caffeine or placebo during a week-long period of exercise. They then crossed over into the opposite condition during a second week of exercise. The results indicated that caffeine intake caused an increase of interleukin-6. The scientists interpreted this result as showing an anabolic effect of caffeine. Interestingly, a June 2016 report in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition showed a similar anabolic effect in 21 men given caffeine, apple and peat during 12 weeks of resistance training. How does caffeine improve strength training performance? Caffeine's performance-enhancing or ergogenic effects arise largely from its stimulatory effect on our central nervous system, or CNS. CNS effects. If you've ever drunk a cup of coffee, you probably noticed you felt more awake. This is because caffeine works by blocking adenosine A2A receptors in our brain and other tissues. Adenosine is a substance that makes us feel sleepy. So by blocking activation of adenosine A2A receptors, caffeine makes us feel more awake. But how does the blockade of adenosine A2A receptors by caffeine lead to improved strength training performance? Due to the underlying neurochemistry of our brains, a blockade of adenosine A2A receptors causes the activation of dopamine D2 receptors and the stimulation of dopaminergic networks in our brain. As we've explored in previous traits, dopamine plays a key role in motivation and motor control. By activating D2 receptors and stimulating dopaminergic pathways in our brain and central nervous system, caffeine acts to 
increase motivation for exercise, increase focus, reduce sensations of muscle fatigue, thereby helping muscular endurance, reduce perception of pain, thereby allowing greater force generation by our muscles, and reduce perception of effort, thereby making exercise feel easier. It is this reduced perception of effort that is thought to be one of the most significant factors underlying caffeine's performance-enhancing effects. Direct Effects on Skeletal Muscle As well as stimulating the central nervous system, caffeine may also boost strength training performance by directly acting on muscle. There is some evidence that caffeine binds to the rhinodyne receptors in the muscle cells, leading to the enhanced release of calcium. By enhancing calcium release, caffeine allows muscle fibers to make more forceful contractions, thereby improving strength performance. Placebo Effect Interestingly, some studies suggest that merely thinking you have ingested caffeine can lead to improvements in performance. Cyclists taking higher doses of placebo, but under the impression that they were taking higher doses of caffeine, show better performance than those taking lower doses of placebo. Conversely, some evidence shows that acknowledging that you haven't ingested caffeine can actually worsen performance. How is caffeine metabolized? Have you ever wondered what happens when you drink a caffeinated beverage such as a cup of coffee? Caffeine is quickly absorbed via the gut and enters the bloodstream within minutes. It reaches a peak concentration in the bloodstream between 30 and 120 minutes after ingestion. The half-life of caffeine is typically between 4 and 6 hours. 